equestrian safety and I have like more or less signs for crosswalks and stuff. And I don't know, maybe more crosswalks because there's not very many. And I think they should build a bridge over the road that pedestrians can walk on. Okay. Uh, my name's Daniel Bertel. Um, I think Ashton is actually really pedestrian friendly. I'm from Los Angeles and they so kind of have to have a car, otherwise it's going to be stranded anywhere. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've only lived here for a couple of years, too, so... Uh... Okay, I'm Char Nestle, and I live a couple blocks up the street, and I get concerned that we drive too fast on Siskiyou Boulevard, and I feel like for pedestrians, we don't have the mindset of pedestrians crossing this street often. We're, we're just going too fast, so I feel like we need to slow down, and I would totally support a slower speed limit here, and I would hope it would get enforced. Yeah, my name's Warren Atticott, and I think they need to do something at the college because there's a lot of crossing back and forth, and I think they need a stoplight or two there. My name is Margaret Zana, and I do have an opinion about pedestrian safety on the crosswalks across from SOU, and that is that I think it's a, really a two-way street and that the kids really do need to carefully look because that's a real dangerous area for, you know, for people driving as well as pedestrians walking. So I've uh, I watched uh, over here at uh, SOU, I saw this accident with uh, uh, some a car rear-ended Harley. You know, the darn tire is tucked under the bumper and the fender is stuffed into the radiator. The poor guy's on the ground. They just, the baby was got, just got there. I think that as far as pedestrian safety, I think they need to watch for cars and wait for everybody to go by. I think uh, the, the larger um, thing needs to, to have the right of way. You know, since the car weighs 2,000 pounds and the uh, like 200. So. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I think that uh, it's counterintuitive the way, uh, you know, pedestrian laws. I mean, if somebody's in front of me, I'm going to stop, you know, but, like, I, when, I'm, when I'm walking along, I don't really want somebody to stop for me. I don't know, cross the street. I'll just wait for the cars to go by and, and cross. That's my, yeah, anyway, that's kind of my opinion. What's your name? Neil Page. I, uh, have a feeling that we need to do something about the, the uh, pedestrian situation throughout the nation, I suppose. I know I walk a lot and I, uh, there's a definite schism between drivers and pedestrians. It's, uh, we need to do something about it, but uh, I wouldn't really have any suggestions. <laughs> uh, I'm Eric Long. Well, from, from everything I've noticed, uh, yeah, most drivers in the Ashland area have been pretty considerate of uh, of pedestrians. I see more people stop for crosswalks here than I have in any of the other four cities I've lived in. Which are? Which are uh, Bend, Oregon, uh, Fresno, California, uh, St. George, Utah, and Tucson, Arizona. I'm Trip Greer, and what I would like to see is um, more carefully signaled crosswalks, but fewer crosswalks. Because a lot of the problem, right, well, one of the problems is um, too many places to stop. So um, automobile drivers get a little um, frustrated. But I think fewer places where they absolutely must stop is probably the best solution.